another interesting quantity is trace. Let us again write degree counterclockwise rotation in a cubic system. So, we saw that 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 w was. So, no, uh, no now I do not want 90 degree you have written see C C W rotation by some a general angle. Let us look at it by a general angle by theta. Let us formulate the matrix for this. This will be interesting. So, what are the compo components of uh, W A? W is transformed A and A has a length A. So, you mean W A will also have the same length and then the components are A cos theta and A sin theta. Hmm. So, W A So, a cos theta is the length, length times the unit vector in the a direction. So, what will that be? a by a. And similarly, the b component is a sin theta times the unit vector along b which is again b by a because length is same length of a and b is the same. So, this is cos theta times a plus sin theta times b and plus uh, let us uh, write three dimensionally. So, plus 0 the third component is 0 because if it is rotating about the z axis counterclockwise in a cubic system about z axis axis has to be specified only angle specification is not sufficient for rotation in 3D. So, we, we get the so the components of the transformed vectors are cos theta sin theta and 0. So, you have the you have the first column first column of your matrix as cos theta sin theta 0. What about W B? Now, this will go theta this way. B is also of length A. So, x component is now on the negative side and that component will be minus sin theta. 
the y component will be cos theta and 0. And what about the z components? Because that is on the rotation axis, so that is the invariant axis. So, a vector along the rotation axis do not change. So, we have 0 0 1. So, we have little bit generalized the problem from writing a 90 degree rotation about z axis, we have written a theta degree rotation about z axis. If we put theta is equal to 90 degree, we should be able to recover the original matrix. If you put theta is equal to 90 degree, then it becomes it becomes 0 1 0 minus 1 0 0 and 0 0 1, which is exactly the matrix we just found for 90 degree rotation. So, this is fine. Now, you can check I leave this as an exercise let us not do the algebra, but it is not very difficult. You can check that even with this cos theta sin theta this determinant w will still come out to be plus 1. Hmm? Sin square theta plus cos square theta. Determinant w is plus 1 as we have assured you that if it is a symmetry transformation it has to be like this. But now let us write the trace. What is a trace of a matrix? Yeah. Some of the diagonal elements. This is the definition of trace. In this particular case, if we apply, what do we get? Two cos theta plus one. Okay. Now we are going to so, ra, ra, so this is a very special case. We, we a special case in terms of rotation. We have taken a cubic system where a, b, and c are equal. Alpha, beta, gamma are 90 degree. We have taken a very simple rotation that is about z axis and we have found the trace. But the surprising and the interesting result. So, the trace was this sum. The surprising and interesting result is that trace of a rotation matrix always will be 2 cos theta plus 1, even if you would have chosen some arbitrary a, b, a, c and alpha. If you if you are rotating in a triclinic system, the trace will still be and you are rotating about some arbitrary axis, not about 0, 0, 1, but about 1, 1, 1 in a triclinic system trace will remain we will prove this I am just writing the result first. So, if a rotation matrix is given to you, whether you know what basis it is being referred to, whether it is triclinic crystal or a hexagonal crystal or cubic crystal and you do not know that in that crystal about which axis we are talking about the rotation, but you can still confidently say, confidently give what is the rotation angle that this matrix represents a rotation of this much angle because you can you only have to add the three terms along the diagonal equated to 2 cos theta plus 1 solve for theta it is always 2 cos theta plus 
irrespective of the basis in which the matrix is represented and irrespective of axis about which the rotation happens. Very, very interesting result. Let us put it in the golden box. Similarly, the determinant result also, we found the determinant for two specific matrices and we jump, but the determinant of course, determinant you have already proved, there you do not need any further proof because the determinant result is related to the isometry. So, there the key thing was isometry because isometry cannot change volume, it has to be 1 in magnitude, but depending upon whether the isometry is of type 1 or type 2, whether the handedness is changing or not, it can be either plus 1 or minus 1. So, that was the property of the determinant.